Hey there, Signs of Cancer. This is Kim, here to do a reading for you all for your next 48 hours. So thanks for joining me. Thanks so much for the likes, shares, um, subscribes. I appreciate all the support. So let's get this going. Um, you can join me if you'd like on a quantum level. I like to imagine divine white light, kind of connecting myself to source. Um, to your angels, your spirit guides, um, to get messages from the light, for the, your light, for ascension, for growth, for your highest timeline. Oh. That is the intention, Cancer. And we are going to start with an oracle. Um, this is the Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle. Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle. Soul group, spiritual teacher, recognition. <clears throat> okay, Cancer. Well, this is a really it's kind of um feels like it's all about energies that yes you're part of, but that are floating around you at the moment too. Um, We'll start with the uh, soul group that came out first, 53 in the middle. You are getting ready to unite with members of your soul family. You are getting ready to unite with members of your soul family. And that is um, 53, which is eight, which is an achievement. So soul group. Then I have 20 um, spiritual teacher Maybe this is about choices, um, you know, with the two of, uh, or maybe this is about the spiritual teacher coming to you. So you're being guided to step into your role as a spiritual teacher. Maybe there's some way that you can convey um, something in, in, in a creative, optimistic way that somebody gets versus another person. It's just the way that you explain something. 33, recognition. Someone deserves to be recognized for all that they do. 33, master number. 33, recognition. Somebody deserves to be recognized for all that they do. So, that's really nice. All right. So, that's what we have with the Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle. Not sure, um, obviously you're going to know what role you play in either of these or any of these, I guess I should say. Um, so that's that deck. And then we're going to pull from the mod modern goddess oracle, the modern goddess oracle. Cancer. Oh, the high priestess, Cancer, the high priestess, and the fairy. That's that's cute. The fairy and the high priestess. When I see the fairy, um, I'm thinking of play. I think that that's a. I think that's a cool. Cool of there. There. I don't know. I don't want to say something and it not be. And then, um. Okay. So the fairy is. That's interesting. I saw a bird the other day. Maybe it was like a, like a yellow tail finch or something. Look kind of like that. That's interesting. Um, the fairy wearing Christmas colors, it seems like, too. So the fairy getting out in the elements, um, allowing fairy magic, you know, to help you or allowing fairies to assist you on how you can is insert play um, and also nature healing into your life. Um, the high priestess is definitely being in touch and in tune with yourself, with the planets, with your soul purpose. Um, intuitively, maybe it's saying intuitively you should know or you will be guided intuitively um, towards 
possibly this group. Wombat. Maybe that's a wombat. Okay. I don't know why that bothered me. Bother me. Let's get, um, let's go to the animal oracle since I keep seeing something in these animals. So the high priestess, definitely tapping into your own powers, uh, using your intuition, using your own nav navigation system, your own GPS to get you to places. You're built in one. All right, spirit animal oracle, spirit animal oracle. Nice, now is a lucky time. Now is a lucky time. Well, that's a good card. And also with the rabbit, I um, I tend to think about uh, fertility. Maybe matters, like, you know, it's always near the Empress or the Queen of Pentacle energy. Always seems to be near those, those energies. Um, rabbit spirit, now is a lucky time. A sunny meadow calls and a rabbit spirit appears to lead you out of your dark, dark warren and into the light so that you can participate in fertile, in a fertile, beautiful experience. Time to grow with others, it feels like. Time to get a, wake up and grow up with others, expand. You're being invited to here, co-create something, a new, new life that you have no experience with, but take no fear. Today is a time to be fruitful and productive as you enjoy rabbit spirits, sunny, prolific energy. At this time, whatever you intend to bring life will find fertile ground. There are no mistakes, really, when you're co-creating with spirit. So let new ideas spring to the surface, knowing that now is a lucky time of tremendous um, possibility. So it says it's okay to admit that you really don't, if you really don't know how to deal with what's in front of you. This is where curiosity and not knowing can be a wonderful state of mind. Be playful now, admitting that you are at the beginning of something. Come on out to frolic in the sun's nurturing light because it's time to birth something new. And you notice the, um, it's like they put little wings on this rabbit too. That's cute in the picture. The yellow kind of coming out around the head, the enlightenment. Now is a lucky time, they say. Okay. Let's go into the tarot. Let's go into the tarot for our cancers. See what's going on for cancer in the next 48 hours. What's the issue for our cancers? What is the issue? Strength in reverse. Feeling um, like feeling like you can't overcome something or like you can't handle what's in front of you. But um, like that spirit uh, or the rabbit spirit is saying, um, like they acknowledge that that can happen, but you shouldn't worry because right now is a time for something really new and better to come so you need to gather up your strength to understand that you can overcome whatever it is in front of you you're not given too much you might not feel like that though the challenge the seven of cups possibly in the reverse okay in the eight of pentacle in reverse might be something to get something working okay so maybe we're not working maybe that's an issue staying clear-minded um, is going to be really, really important with the Seven of Cups in the reverse. Having a clear mind, um, not being under the influence too much uh, helps, will help you overcome this, whatever it is in your way. So I would think like not slipping to old vices um, or old things, old patterns that uh, kept us sabotaging our own um, progress. Yeah, the heart of the matter or at the root of this the root of this is the full energy in reverse 
it feels like not knowing how to start over because there's a little bit of being timid here with this new, like viewing this as a completely new adventure. Um, this is not using a beginner's mind. This is like wanting a new beginning, but um, still navigating the energy, trying to figure out how it's going to work. Yeah. Yeah figuring out how it's going to work for you. Cancer, the past energy for Cancer. All right, the Wheel of Fortune, or as in this deck, this is the Dream Keepers deck, the Fates. So the Fates. I used to, there was this, um, what was the expression? If the fates allow it. Yeah. If the fates allow it. So something was a turn of good luck or fortune. Um, maybe it was even like a miracle witness. There's a new cycle and it was the end of things like not working out here. So it was like finally moving forward and maybe feeling like you are starting to get to um, the top here, having some good luck. Maybe it's the what next. Maybe it's the what next. I don't know. Um, you could have Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. Leo, um, for sure. Aries. Seven of Cups. Maybe Scorpio energy, so that would be the time. The time would be nigh for transformation. Scorpio season, October 23rd to November 21st. All right, the um, now moment. And it seemed to hit into this, okay? So, Page of Swords. You may need some more information on how to proceed maybe it has to do with technology different ways of using new technology or i don't know maybe there's just you know from from word of mouth you're hearing something possibly with the page of swords it could be talking about gossip too which is not you know that's not great people need to focus on themselves um but Page of Swords could be representing a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, child, um, child sign. So doing your research, getting more information, try, trying to find the truth out. Not sure if you're hearing the truth from completely. You're hearing this and that are true, maybe. Two of Cups in the reverse for um, the near future position it feels like a hard choice to make. Like there will be a hard choice. Maybe that's part of um, the cycle is that to kick it off, a, a hard decision must be made. Possibly. To lead with the heart instead of the mind all the time. Needing to clear the mind. Eight of swords in the reverse. How do you feel? Three of wands in the reverse. I don't think you feel it yet, but there may be something, a partnership coming apart. It may be based on things that you're hearing. I mean, there may be gospel rumors here. It, there's something that, that breaks apart you and either someone else or a situation. It comes as a surprise. So maybe you are feeling surprised at this moment. Um, yeah, okay. It could be good or it doesn't have to be bad necessarily. Sometimes going separate ways is a good thing for both people. So, what's in the environment? What's in the environment, Cancer Abbott? Falling on the floor. Two of swords, probably in reverse. That's how I picked it up. Um, if it's in reverse, it, you know, it's, it's about a decision. Like, something's urgent. So urgent 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 it's a decision you can't put it off you can't keep putting off a decision that needs to be made because it's urgent 
So, yeah, knowing that you can't put something off, knowing a decision has to be made. Hopes and fears here for Cancer. Hopes and fears for Cancer. The King of Cups. Okay, maybe it's for new, for new love. Because sometimes this is like a person entering the scene who's kind of like the person who understands their emotions really well. They, they're they very well balanced. Um, they're easy to get along with. So it'd be a different kind of person than what that Two of Cups is. So what is the outcome looking like? Three of Pentacles in the reverse is looking like you're going to do something um, like with or without me. You're going to do something on your own here with the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. You still might use guidance, you know, from spirit. But what this is, three, three, two, two. Yeah, this this is about your creation, what you can create. Um, maybe that's what it means with this two of cups. Maybe in the reverse, it's like, it's, it's something that it's, it's just for you, what you create. Look, five of pentacles in the reverse on the bottom with the world, <laughs> with the change, the knight of swords. So coming out, change with the knight of swords, five of swords fighting for what you want. Look, and then Ace of Cups. So if you get through this change and end up saying, yes, I would like, you know, this is what I want. No comparisons. Ace of Cups comes bringing something brand new and wonderful and beautiful into your life. So let's get some tea leaves and wrap up your reading. Guys, good reading. Maybe somebody new coming in too. I mean, that's the, that's like the one big thing I see here. And big decisions. Now is a lucky time, though. Remember that. Now is a lucky time. Scales, keep your life in balance. That might be the twos. Keep your life in balance. Weeping Willow, family sorrow. Hmm. Cobweb protected from negative forces beyond your control. Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. And Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. Well, if it's the King of Cups, um, if it's this King of Cups, this Scorpio possibly, then it's it's definitely something that you would fear there to somebody's anger or instability, emotional instability. All right, so Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, um, Aries, and uh, that's about it. Cancer, Gemini, yeah, Aries for sure. All right, so that's what I've got for you. Sending you love and light. Bye, Cancer.